Hi, this is Dave Johnston with Day Trade the Markets, and we're looking at a chart here, a one minute chart using the Day Trade the Markets software uh, in the E mini SP for Wednesday morning, uh, October the 23rd. So you can see I placed an order in here. I'm not yet in this trade. I placed an order here to buy uh, six E mini SP at 1738.50. Um, and the reason I'm doing this, well, there's a few, I suppose, but uh, uh, the main reason is that we are in our uh, definition of intraday up auction. Uh, so the underlying um, dominance in the market is certainly to the upside. Uh, you can see here throughout today, though, we have had a pretty good sell off today. Uh, market opened here, and obviously it's come down quite a bit, had a bounce here. Uh, but we have also um, a level that we're monitoring, uh, which is at 34.75, um, and we uh, it's down here 34.75, and we knew that that was pretty darn good support. Uh, so you can see the market came in here, got fairly close to it, actually hit it here, and we had one of our um, magenta bars, which is a, the the highest aggression of selling in our software. We have three levels of aggression up and down. Um, the highest level of aggression to the upside is this is a blue bar, as you can see right here. Uh, so you know we we had a, a good test of this support down here. The market turned around, traded above where this good selling came in at, moved above it and came down and tested it. Now we've got a good move back up above it. So um, this is uh, this dark patch right here is what we call a high velocity move. And in many cases, the market in an up high velocity move will come back down and test towards the low before then resuming its upward movement. So that's why I've got an order in here just to tick above the low of that uh, to try and get in on a long trade. Um, and what I will do, you can see the market's coming down within a tick of it here. Um, I will go ahead. I'm going to put my stop uh, just on the other side of where the market dipped here. Uh, so that's at uh, 36.75. So go ahead and put that in, um, and um, hopefully we can get filled on this down here and uh, uh, be in for for a nice trade. So the stop that I'm looking at is about two and I'm sorry, one and three quarter points, and I usually try and make it no more than about two. Uh, two is usually a, a pretty good number as far as the kind of risk you're looking at. Uh, in the mini S and P, so uh, you know if I can get something like that, I'm I'm usually pretty happy. I think what I will do though is I'm just going to uh, top this up a couple of ticks here. Uh, I know that means that my stop is now uh, two and a quarter uh, from 36.75 to 39, uh, but I just have the sense here that uh, you know we've come down to within a tick of the low that. Um, of our, our original entry and, and had a bit of a bounce. So, okay, we've just gotten filled here. So we're now long uh, six at uh, 39 even. Um, and I will go ahead um, and I'm going to sell half of that position. So I'll, I'll just change that to three. And I think on this, uh, we're going to expect it to at least have a bounce up in this area here. Uh, where it was rejected from. So I'm going to say uh, about 40, 50, uh, right about here. So I got my first objective in there at a point and a half. Uh, and we'll see if we can get a nice little bounce here uh, to 40, 50. Uh, and if we can, then I will adjust the uh, uh, stop. Um, so that's good. It's, it's moving up, so it's moved up within a tick. And I'll go ahead and move the stop at 6 here. I'll move it up to just a couple of ticks, or one tick below the uh, low of the high velocity move. Uh, you can see it just hit our price right there, so hopefully we'll get filled on this any moment here. Uh, and I think once that happens, I'll go ahead and move the stop to break even. So we'll just give the video here, give the market a minute, hopefully get filled. Okay, we just got filled. So we, we just have the three contracts left, so I'm going to change this to three and then I will move the stop to break even right here so it's it's a fairly tight stop I mean it's uh, uh, you know we'll just uh, see what we can get out of this though so um, I don't you know if the market were to come back I, I 
Well, certainly if it moved below this high velocity uh, buying move right in here, which includes this, this big blue bar as well as this uh, dark rectangle, if it were to move down into this area in here below it, I, I certainly wouldn't want to be on board. So it's a fairly tight stop. I, I, I could put the stop a little bit lower, but I think it should have some lift off of the support down here in that uh, 3475 area. So down the, down, the, down in here where it got nicely rejected, no follow through off of this really heavy selling bar. So the highest, uh, the most aggressive selling we have is the magenta bar, and the most aggressive buying we have is the blue bar. Uh, so the, what we call level two um, is is this red selling here. We've had a couple of them today. Uh, we have not had any level two buying bars. Uh, these other cyan bars are level one buyings, uh, but no level two buying. Uh, and just the, all of a sudden jumped into this this level three buying. So I think the rejection off the low and the, uh, the really aggressive attempt to move below it failed. Uh, and now we've got some good buying in here. We bought on a pullback, so I think we're in a good position. We'll just leave it there for now. Uh, we've got three contracts left, so um, I will go ahead uh, and place an order here to sell, and I'll shift that down to two. So we'll sell two up here should the market get up there and test up into... Uh, where the really good selling came in, uh, which is in around the 43 area, so I'm I'm giving it you know we're we're long uh, 39, uh, and I've got this at 42. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it there for now. We've got the stop in here at break even, so um, uh, I'll I'm going to go ahead and and stop the video now from recording, and we'll pick it up as the developments uh, dictate. Okay, just restarted the video here, and you can see that the market has, um, it, it bounced up here to 41.50, come down to 39.25, just a tick from our stop. So I, I know we're, we're pretty tight on this stop here, but uh, I've got it at break even. And, um, you know, we're just going to uh, see what happens here. Uh, hopefully we can get a, a turnaround and, and, and rally up, otherwise we'll, we'll get a break even on the second half of the position. We've made a point and a half on the first half of the position, so you know, it was three contracts at a point and a half each. So uh, that, you know, that, and, and a point, of course, is uh, $50 per point. Uh, so we got a point and a half times three, that's four and a half points. So uh, $225 at, at least blocked in on this trade. And, and hopefully, you know, we won't get stopped here and we can uh, continue to uh, see this market move higher, but in the meantime, it, it's come close to it, so I just wanted to start the video and uh, we'll restart it again uh, uh, as, as the situation dictates. So I'll put it on pause again for now. Okay, just wanted to uh, start up the uh, video here again. You can see we just got stopped out at uh, 1739. That was our break even, so obviously I'll go ahead and cancel this. Uh, we're just trading between this uh, support and resistance, the uh, green support here, uh, the yellow resistance here, yellow or amber resistance, meaning less likely to hold. Um, I still believe that the market, as long as it doesn't hold the green area here, uh, will serve as good support um, and could actually end up with, with a fairly nice move higher today. But uh, we did have an area in around the 42 as resistance going into today. Uh, and it, you know, hit it here, hit it here. Uh, the order that I had up here, uh, anticipating a break above there, and doing that only after we had uh, been uh, filled and had a nice profit on the first half of our position there. So um, that's really about it for today, uh, or for this video anyway. Um, we'll see if this area can hold, uh, this green area in here around 1738, see if that can hold. If it does, I think we've got a good chance of moving higher. If it doesn't hold, then obviously we're coming down. But this is a key area, I think, right in the 38 area here uh, that it's testing right now. Um, so there's a trade, uh, live trade on um, Wednesday, October the 23rd, 2013. Uh, Dave Johnston here for Day Trade the Markets. Uh, any, uh, if you'd like some information, uh, just go ahead and uh, send us an email to info at Day Trade the Markets, and I'll just put that in here so you can see that info at 
trade the markets. My, uh, uh, okay, there's, it's daytradethemarkets.com, and you can just send us an email to info at daytradethemarkets.com. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you again next time.